Yo, peace and love, everybody. I am back with another daily video, I guess. Here we are again. Today we have a pair of black unions. Black toe unions, actually. And if you just saw that, they had a weird certificate taped on the box. You might have to rewind and look at that again. I have never seen that. But before we go ahead and jump into it, got to thank every single subscriber. You guys give me the daily motivation to make these videos. Trust me, it's not just the shoes. It's you guys. It's the thumbs up. It's the comments. Um, so yeah, much love. And you guys know I do not condone the resale. There's that security check again. In my packages again. Don't condone resale of these sneakers. I don't sell my gifts. I don't um, encourage people to go shopping and source them out. I just make the videos from the gifts. That's all I do. So let's pull these out of the box. Take a look at them. I went with the nine and a half again. And um, I was very excited to get this pair. I still have two pairs of blue toes. Um, go ahead and check that video out. And um, let's just jump into it, basically. The box looks all right. I mean, it looks good. I always love this box. It's, they, 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 that's, it's like my favorite Jordan box probably ever. But too bad I can't wear it. Anyway, so I always look at the shoe for a couple seconds before I jump into the full unboxing because I have to unbox them first before they even touch my feet. This shoe was part of the Air Jordan collection in Union. It also included some pants, t-shirts, hoodies, and both the Blue Toes and the Black Toes released on the same day. This was back in November 17th of 2018. And I ain't gonna lie, I was completely oblivious to either sneaker or the apparel. And they're saying in the article I'm reading right now, one represents the early 80s or the late 80s, and the other pair represents the early 90s. And I'm not sure which is representing which era I'm from both eras but I don't know so you guys tell me but I love the paper of these shoes um, this is probably my favorite paper that ever come with the Air Jordan it's very detailed it's pretty clever and it, it just looks really good it kind of tells its story and please check out my other union video that I did I went a little bit deeper on the creator of the sneaker I'm not going to do that again and I'll put the little tag or note or whatever at the upper right hand corner somewhere but let's go ahead and fold this up and jump right into the shoes details. Um, I will say that the gifter of the shoe, they're really great people over there, have great customer service. I never really speak on the name specifically to protect my channel and my content, but I can say that they have excellent customer service. And the person over there who I'm communicating with is actually pretty funny. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at the shoe. You have the Air Jordan there, and I know there's um, some stipulations between where that Air Jordan stamp should actually be placed. If you look up there, the little tip of the Jordan wing shouldn't go too far above the stitching line right there. You got the Union LA, and right below you have that blue stitching with, I've seen a lot of other makers of the shoe jack this part up. I still do like the blue tail version better than this version. I think I just like the way the blue pops on the shoe, but I do like the black tone. Don't get me wrong, black's my favorite color, so but just look at some of the fine details. Um, it, I've never really seen like a retail pair in person, so it's kind of hard for me to really hammer on this shoe and say, hey, this is supposed to be like that. You can look at pictures and all that stuff all you want, but the best way to really check out a sneaker is to have it in your hands. Even if you don't know what you're really looking for, having the sneaker in your hand, you can really develop a type of feel for it and just kind of see how it feels to you because that's most important. I know the Nike check has always been a big thing for the sneaker. It's always been too small. And I do think they got this right. They were supposed to be using the check from the 85 style Air Jordan. And I think they got it right on this one. Like I can kind of tell when the check is too small and you always got to look at the tip of the check to the black part up there as well. That's kind of how I look at it. Um, the yellow on the shoe doesn't look too bright. I've been seeing other pairs where the goldish part just looks too golden, too bright. And I'm not sure if that dulls over the time, but that's just from my observations. I am not an expert on this sneaker. I just think they look dope. Let's go ahead and blaze through this so we can look at the tongue. I try not to use too many jump cuts so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But the tongue is a sail color. Um, it, it looks great to me. The stitching behind the tongue, which really doesn't bother me that much, but it, it looks good. Like, I don't know if it looks bad. I don't know if it looks good. I mean, 
it's hard to really it's hard to really know and the text on the back of there it doesn't look the best but i mean it's on a gray i don't know it's, it's just hard to, it's just hard to say i mean who cares it's the back of the freaking tongue here's a look at the insoles again this is the same thing that is on the paper i love it i think it's dope and i know i'm saying doesn't really bother me and i don't care about this i don't care about that because i really don't and i never ever try to pass these shoes off for a retail sneaker i don't send them to stock x i don't hit people up and be like hey i have these you guys know what i do i do get retail sneakers still but i i mean it's just kind of a dirty game to try to pass a gifted sneaker off as a retail or try to sell it but anyway let's just go ahead and jump into the on beat actually i meant the black lighting and doing all these videos right i think they're like making my brain do weird things so but anyway here we go okay i honestly didn't find too much here but a little bit of ink on that right shoe as you can see here and if i sound a little bit rushed in this video it is because i am so well let's take a look that looks pretty good that looks really good actually and when the shoe goes to this black light test and there's no crazy stitching that's a clear indicator that they put some love into this sneaker so have a look there nothing on the sole i don't even know well, there's something on the bottom i don't really know why i'm black lighting it probably because it just kind of looks kind of cool but there's ink on that right shoe as you can see but there, there wasn't much to see here but i'm just trying to get used to doing the black lights again i kind of slacked for a couple videos i'll probably start black lighting the box but now let's jump into the on feet kind of corny anyway guys so I'm at another school elementary school by my house the other one I used to go to is being tore down right now so I can't go to that one there is really nothing interesting on this wall it's, it's just wall hello there's some kids over there playing too trying to give me a hard time look, look at these kids you can't have the kiddos in your videos no more well at least on my channel kiddos you can watch but you can't be in my videos no more mmm I don't make the rules I just break them. One more thing about these shoes. Wait, that's too close. That's too close. That's too close. Too close. Better. One thing about these shoes, the the right shoe, it has this this like uncut stitching part and it like messes with my foot it's kind of uncomfortable i'm so sorry guys it's just messing with me like look i'll show you i'll show you i'll show you all right okay in here on that side like this you can see that it is super super thick i mean super thick I'm gonna have to get in there with X-Acto knife or maybe send these to my man Tahuti Sky God. He might be able to fix these for me, but that's the only gripe I have is that piece right in here. That's, I know that's hard to see. Other than that, they're great. Like, I love this shoe. I've always wanted this shoe. They actually wanted to send me this one the first, our first go around, but instead we did the blue toes, which actually turned out to be better than the OG Tony's. Sorry, Tony. But if that part was fixed, I give them a 10 out of 10. Also, here, I was told this part here shouldn't be as yellow. It should be kind of like some yellow, some dark, some yellow, some dark. But to keep it real with you guys, you know, I don't care about that kind of stuff. I just wear the shoe. I think over time, it'll do that anyway. That's what I see. I'm not going to name no names of other companies that rhyme with Smick Who. They're making them like that. So I don't. it is what it is. My man Chill Kicks has a pair of those, so check his channel out too. But yeah, that's my only gripe. I forgot to ask you guys, do you like the yellow laces, the gold laces, or do you like the, uh, the, sail, the sail to black? Hmm?
Hey, real quick, guys. Look, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't thumbs up, please thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on IG, which you should, follow me on IG and thumbs up all my pictures. Please.